close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch it all the way in, all the way out. Notice where you feel the breathing most cons conspicuously in the body. Focus your attention there. Give yourself an anchor in the present moment. Because the mind is like a boat. If it doesn't have a good anchor, it gets swept away by the currents. You know, the currents have changed. Yesterday, two days ago, it was hot. Today, it's cold. It's going to be hot again at the end of the week. And that's just the weather. Things in the world go up, they go down. They spin around, and they flow from here and flow over there, just like an ocean. And here we are in the midst of it. So we need an anchor, something to keep us in place so we don't get all turned topsy-turvy. And when we get turned topsy-turvy, we forget what's, what's up and what's down, what's right and what's wrong. But if our anchor is solid, we can stay right here and see the world spinning around, but we don't have to spin around with it. The currents of the world may fl flow in lots of different directions, but we don't go along with them. We see them pass. And if there's something good that we can gain out of them, then we're happy to. But realize that's a lot we just simply have to let pass. So give yourself a good anchor here. Try to create a sense of feeling solidly established with the breath in the present moment so nothing can knock you over. The image they give in the canon is like a stone pillar buried deep into the ground. The winds can come from different directions. And if you can think of the pillar right at the in, inside the ocean, okay, it's buried there in the ocean floor, but the currents don't move it around. That's the kind of mind you want to have. You're not pushed around easily by other people's opinions, by other people's words or deeds. Once you know clearly what's right and what's wrong, you want to stick with that. And having a solid place here in the present moment really helps with that. Keeps you alert, keeps you mindful, ready to put in whatever effort is needed to resist the currents of the world. So make sure you're well anchored right here and try to keep this up as you go through the day. When you're doing formal meditation, when you're doing other things around the monastery, or other things at home, in the work or wherever you go, try to have the sense of being anchored not being easily pushed around. That's how you keep yourself safe. And of course, when the boat is well anchored, it keeps other boats safe as well. <laughs>